Hello, welcome to Kobe, Japan, another beautiful city in central Japan. So check it out. Currently, we are looking at the harbor front over here. So this city is massive. It has a population of about 1.5 million people. So let's see some of Kobe today. There's a nice gigantic Ferris wheel. So as always, smash the like button and subscribe and let's go. All right, I'm right next to the Ferris wheel right now. So I'm gonna show you the prices real quick. So it seems like each person, you're either gonna pay 800 or 900 Japanese yen. So it's pretty cheap. It's less than $10 to go up on this Ferris wheel. I then also wanna just point out right over there, there's a crane over there, cause this is a port of Japan. So some of the shipping containers in Japan will come through the city. So before we go more around the port area, I wanna take you to this area. So in front of us over here is called Anpan Man's Museum, Children's Museum. So it's a place where you could bring your kid and have some fun. If you don't know who Anpan Man is, he's a famous superhero in Japan, which a lot of the kids love. So he's a children's superhero guy. See the little girls going crazy over Anpan Man. This is Anpan Man's bakery, Uncle Jam's bakery. Looks like they're making different type of Anpan Man snacks they could buy. Well, they're fake plastic stuff over here, but I'm sure they're selling the same stuff over here at this bakery. This is what you could buy. Really cute, different type of Anpan Man characters. Mosaic. So there's the port on our right where we're gonna investigate in just a second. But let me just walk a little bit away from it just to give you a feel of this area more. Well, I do like this building over here. It has the leaves and the vines growing from it, the different colors, really nice. And then right in front of us, this is a mall, Yumei Mall, Yumei Mall. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, not 100% sure. It's a massive mall. We'll, we'll go into that later on in this video. The Kobe Cruise, sunset and night view. Concerto and Luminous, Kobe too. So apparently you could go on cruises over here. That might be one of the cruise ships just straight across from us. That I heard that Concerto is about two hour long concert and also you could have dinner there on a cruise ship and I'll just take you around this port area. Really cool. Across from us is the Oriental Hotel. So just walking around this area, there is the Ferris wheel we just saw. You can see there's a lot of shops and also some places to go and eat at. Oh, that actually looks like a nice spot to go at. You just sit and see the port area. Let's go there. Wow, look at this car. So we made it to the upper part of this area. The street sign looks like it's like some street in America. <laughs> there's a dog barking over there. It's the noise what we're hearing right now. Let's see this restaurant's menu. This is its menu. Give you a feel of the prices. So we got some meat and rice. And it looks like some vegetables for 1,300 for 300 grams. Quick overview of the menu. Wow, you can see uh, right over there, there's a mountain range, which I heard you can go on some of these mountains and see a beautiful city view, even though this view is pretty nice too. What do you think? This restaurant is called Eggs and Things. Let's see its menu. Look at these cute little puppies. They're little doggies. That's a Shiba Inu. Oh, that dog is tripping out. Look at, that. Look at these dogs. <laughs> got some omelets, meats and eggs, hamburgers, special mornings, French toast. Oh, it's like hard for me to talk to you guys just because the dogs are just barking. So let's see, pancakes, chocolate chips are for 950 Japanese yen. It's like $7. Eggs and pancakes. Well, look at this uh, pancake. It's wrapped like a quesadilla. Christmas decorations, because it's holiday season. And yeah, it seems like a nice area just to sit down and see this view. All right, let's walk towards the inside, because I think we're gonna find more shops and more things to see. All right, we are back in the inside area. Show you some of these places. What are they offering? Looks like it's a dessert shop. Oh, they're selling some coffee as well. It looks kind of cool. I don't know what that is. Looks like it's like marshmallowish kind of thing. They have a Native American guy dressed up as Santa Claus. <laughs> so random. That would never happen. It's funny. Sunny bless. 
strawberry fetish. If you have a fetish about strawberries, just come here. Seems like a lot of dessert shops. Oh, also some souvenirs too. Ultraman World. This is also another famous Japanese anime. I'll show you real quick. Ultraman. So the shop's all about Ultraman. It's kind of interesting that they made a whole shop just about this one character. Growing up in America, we don't really see that many cartoons or animes about Ultraman. Mostly it's like Dragon Ball Z, Power Rangers, and some other Japanese cartoons. Okay, I think we're walking towards the mall. Yeah, this is North Mall, South Mall. Yeah, so we're walking towards that Yume Mall, which I showed you earlier. Let's walk inside of it just for a couple of minutes, give you a little overview of it, and then we'll go back to the port area. We have officially entered the mall. So it's a little bit loud because right behind us, they are doing some construction work. I want to show you the uh, mall sign real quick. So this is Yume Mall. They have a north part and they have a south part. It's a level to like shops and food, kind of like a standard mall. So just walk through it. I love the middle of it. You can see they have like a middle opening so sunlight can beam through. Then on our left of it is a kids play place. But I don't know what they can play with. Just seems like there's traffic cones for them while they're enjoying it. And then also there's the escalator where I just went down. And something cool about the escalator, part of it's flat, so it's like flat, and then it goes down. Like, I'll show you if I go back up. Some more Christmas decorations. Massive mall. Oh, they've been playing the music. Soothing music. Angel snow. May winter illumination. So that's the south part, south mall, and then I'm guessing you know, on our right is the north part. Oh, what is this? Just look at this. They have Konami Sports Club. Well, I know Konami is a video game company. I, I never knew they had a sports club. I'm guessing it's a place where you could bet on different games and stuff. On different sports games, I'm guessing. You may ice marina. Oh, you can go ice skating over here. That's cool. If I find that, I'll show you guys how it is. It's amazing you go ice skating. It's not even that cold. Hey, I found Umai's Ice Marina. So here it is. So for an adult, it's 1,600 Japanese yen. For a child, it's 1,000. And I'm not quite sure what's at the bottom. That says over there, Kodomo. It means like child or children. And here's the ice rink, but apparently there is nobody here. But I think the reason that is, it's because it's just too warm right now. Well, it's kind of chilly, but it's not like conditions for the ice rink. But somehow they have it, which is it's pretty amazing. As we're walking to the other side, I found a map of this area. So this is where we're at currently. This is like where we're exploring right now, this whole area. All right, let's continue. Wow, this building looks really nice. I thought this was an apartment building, but apparently this is a hotel called La Suite Kobe. Look at the pictures. Really nice, you're facing the harbor area. That room especially, wow. It has a jacuzzi, then you see the harbor view, and you see the Kobe Tower. If you guys want to send me a super thanks, possibly we could go inside of the room. But on my YouTube budget, I can't afford it right now, unfortunately. Let's see, I think, I believe some of these cruises, or some of these cruise ships, you could actually, yeah, you could board some of these. Kobe Sea Bus. Let's see, how much are the prices? For 60 minutes, it says 60 minutes for 1,800 for an adult. 90 minutes, 2,200. Oh, and some of them have packages. Like you go on this boat and the fare is still for 2,000 Japanese yen. Maritime Museum. Okay, so they have some deals. So if you want to see a sea tour or something, just let me know. I might save it for another video. But I can't right now because the sun is setting. And can you guys believe it's only 4.10 in the evening? It's already setting. It's like a beautiful ship. So it does up pretty early here in Japan. So over here you go on a boat right to Kobe Bay Cruise. Rosa boom. Holy seagulls, where are they here? Maybe that lady's feeding them. They're going crazy. 
They're attacking her. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy seagulls. I love the architecture on each one of these buildings. They're all different, like that one. And I don't know, just around this marina, the Oriental Hotel, they have a lot of cool buildings. So I guess this is the Kobe Tower called Port of Kobe. Well, I guess this is the Port of Kobe, but this is the tower, but it's under construction as you can see. Unfortunately, can't see it today. I saw pictures of it. It looks like you could go all the way up and there's a sky deck on it. Wow, look at this beautiful golden hour here in Kobe. So this is the Ferris wheel where we just started the video, then we did a whole little wrap around. And now we are at this massive cruise ship. This is where they tie the cruise ship to. One of these things. Just so the cruise ship doesn't sail away. Have you guys ever been this close to a cruise ship before? This ship is called Ginga Maru. Wow, check out this beautiful park over here, guys. So we are just on the left side of this park where we saw the cruise ship. And now we are here. Right in front of us is a Starbucks. Why not put a Starbucks in the park? There's this little work of art over here. There's a tower. I love how that building looks like. That's the museum, I believe. Really nice area to be at during sunset. Wouldn't you agree? The red bridge kind of reminds me of the San Francisco bridge, but I'm pretty sure the San Francisco bridge is a lot bigger than this. And it looks like they have a big sign over here. It says B Kobe. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. They also have another piece of art that I saw. Actually, they have a lot of stuff. They have this door, they have this sculpture, and then they have this rock, which just has a hole in the middle. There's a door that goes to nowhere. Let's see what this statue is all about. Nothing's in English, so I don't quite understand. A little quick overview of this area one more time. Okay guys, so I think I want to finish the video. It's a good video for today, right? So as always, please smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about the video. And if you want to see more videos around Japan or around the world, click somewhere up on the screen. Love you. And now I'm just going to be enjoying the rest of the sunset and hopefully try to record some other videos over there in Kobe.